Hey, what did one shepherd say to the other shepherd? Let's get the flock out of here. Rooster here, of course, obviously, right? God, look at me. I'm all greasy and shit. It was cold this morning. Uh, it's like 85 now, but let's do just that. Let's put the car in drive and get the flock out of here. Welcome to episode four, legitimately episode four, because that's what I'm labeling it, of the internationally known, confirmed, critically acclaimed, 100% uh, completely safe from ever having been to a Diddy party. So this is my Life Now podcast. Headed home. It's Monday. It is just about 4.30. It's our easier day, I guess you could say. And I am taking my ass home. Um, tomorrow might get our shit pushed in. You don't know because Tuesday is typically, uh, you know, historically our busier day because we got Western Slope and all that stuff. And then after work tomorrow, my supervisor and the lead for the tile department, the other department that neighbors mine are going to Arizona, our branch in Arizona for training, leaving Big Daddy in charge, more or less. Like our boss boss, Tom, he's going to be there, but I'm running the show. I'm calling the ball. So I'm headed home. Uh, obviously, I'm in the car, going my ass home. Uh, Beefy's home already. You know, she works uh, Tuesday to Friday. She's been streaming all day. She's had great success and great joy with that, like streaming again, getting back into it, uh, into content creation on her own terms. Let's call it that. Doing the content creations on her own terms, just like I am with this. And I was talking to, and by talking to, I mean uh, replying to a comment on... Was it a podcast video? It might have been uh, for my buddy Kiona. And even when I was doing the original, the Rated R for Rooster podcast, and then the So This Is My Life Now podcast on like Anchor and Spotify, she would listen, right? And like comment and let me know like other ways of communicating that like, oh, I'll have this up in the background while I'm cleaning the house or whatever. And I'm, I'm absolutely cool with that as long as people are listening, you know, um, and getting enjoyment out of it. Or, or even if I'm talking about something... Uh, more somber or, or even a bit sad. Like when my wife was, was in the hospital, I found that doing this was a, a really good outlet for me to get it out from here, from here, get it out of here and just like look at my phone and, and like right in there, that light is green for whatever reason and just get it out, you know, and, and there are people out there that, um, that comment. I appreciate the comments and, and then let me know that they're getting something out of uh, what I'm doing. And, and I appreciate that kind of thing. Um, but I'm also getting back into gaming, and I haven't in years. And I heard my wife say while she was on stream yesterday, I was sat on the couch, uh, I, I wasn't dropping any eaves, but I could hear what she's saying because, how can I say this gently? Her voice travels, <laughs> okay? Her voice travels, and she's wearing a headset, so she can't really hear herself. And, and I, I remember those days. So, like, even now, I'm in the car. I'm speaking what I feel is at a good tone. Like, there's, like, one other person maybe in the car with me. That's it. And this microphone, um, I'm really liking. So, uh, she was saying how, like what, like, what her motivations were for getting back into it and why she's doing it the way she's doing it now. She's VTubing now. Uh, Rebrand is kind of in effect. She had the name change and everything. Um... And it's, it's more on her terms, and she's a lot happier doing it this way. And we talked about it a bit during dinner uh, after her stream yesterday. And I noticed things, so I give her my feedback, not just like as her husband, but as somebody that has been there and done it too. You know, and, and I'm recently getting back into content creation, as well as gaming, and I'll get into that because I got another like a 15-minute drive home. So we'll, we'll get to it. Is my steering wheel in the camera god damn it <laughs> son of a bitch let me uh just wiggle it out of the way if i can a little bit is that more gooder like it's i can still see it in the corner but i want the money maker in the middle i just john seen it myself bam, 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 bam. uh so she was saying to her chat not to me she was saying to the chat that now with the v tubings that the the thing she's doing with the the caricature um that's like a, a version one, by the way. Her, her real model, her, her more permanent model is coming up. I'm pretty sure she's going to repurpose 
the the one she has now, which is completely cool. If it was me, I would make it like a whole other character, kinda, that would talk to her her main character, like you know. But that's that's just what's going on in my head. Um, so she's using that, and like before, she would focus on what she wore and what she looked like, makeup wise, and and her hair and and like what she wore and how she presented herself on camera and that was always a point of concern i'm not saying worried because believe me she got nothing to worry about a point of concern for her and even me like i'm a dude and there, like a lot of times i wouldn't wear pants because it was hot but this is all you see um how i shaved how i kept all this uh should i get a haircut um y'all remember the blonde days <laughs> that's that's some og shit if you remember the blonde days, okay, it, it's time for you to get your AARP card, all right? Um, down to, like, what shirt I wore. Would it have sleeves? Would it not have sleeves? Depending on the game I was playing, like, if I had another camera zooming down, would I have my thighs out? Stealing views and all that, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Is that a thing? I don't even know. Um, but now, doing what she's... And she's doing essentially the same thing, right? The process is the same. It's just she's doing it in a different manner, right? Like she's still streaming games. She's still communicating with chat. She's still playing with friends and mods, right? But it's more on her terms. There is no, well, maybe I should wear this to get interaction or, or um, wear lipstick today for this game because of X, Y, and Z reason. Like there's, there's none of that anymore. And I was listening to her, like I said, her voice travels. She's loud is what I'm saying, fellas, okay? Um, playing Seven Days to Die with friends of ours and, and her, her mod team. They're one and the same, kind of. Lights green, let's go. Um, and just, like, from what I hear, the difference in what she was saying and how she was saying it, it all sounded more natural to me. Does that make sense? Like nothing was forced and and like i said before when she was focused on on the physical like what she looked like and what she was wearing she would always be glancing over at the camera um not the camera sorry like either have her stream or open or the streaming software open and always like glancing over at that like how do i look is the camera right is the lighting right lighting is a pain in the ass i'll tell you um you're actually gonna shit now that i come to think of it i have i have a hunter call of the wild video in the cooker right now and I recorded it last night and I realized right at the end when I was doing my ending that I didn't have the ring light on in front of my face and I said, oh shit, that's because I wasn't looking. I was just playing the game. Um, so I noticed that like it was it was more of the her that I know, you know, like she's, she's completely comfortable having conversations with people that she knows and is familiar with and people that she cares about. But when you're essentially on the clock you know like when uh when we used to do it full time like to make money um you had to conform a little you know even i had to watch my language like what the fuck you know even i had to assimilate kind of you know what i mean um when you want to make money you want to make good money you you got to go along to get along right and like, I was saying some uh, intentionally uh, messed up things in her chat yesterday. And she would just nuke it right out. And, and she said, no, but, you know, you're right, but it's bad for chat. I'm like, all right, I get it. I get it. I was there, too. Um, but the content she's making now, and she's holding concurrent viewership. And I'm talking about hours on end playing multiple games or even the same game. But the same people are the ones that are there hanging out. And... That's saying something for someone, and she said this, and I I came to realize it, that hasn't streamed in years. Years. I'm not talking about days, weeks, or months, ladies and gentlemen. I'm talking about fucking years, and that's an absolute fact. It's, it's so weird. And I was like, holy shit. You know, um, I, and, and I said, even about my YouTube videos, like, I'll get literally dozens of views, and I appreciate every last one of them, because... I don't really promote it. I kind of do. I, I ask that my friends promote it for me. You know what I mean? Share it. Share this. I'll probably pop something. Bing up here, maybe, if I remember, in post. I probably won't. 
because I'm old and my brain is kind of feeble. What the fuck is that? Um, so I won't be editing this today. So when you're seeing this, it'll probably be like two or three days down the line. I'm not going to edit it tomorrow because tomorrow we're probably going to get our asses kicked and I'll be tired when I get home. And she, you know, goes to work tomorrow. Um, I'd like to get that, the Hunter Call of the Wild episode in the, in the box, so to speak. Probably today, maybe, because I already started editing yesterday. Um, so she's being more natural and being more herself. Like she's even using her real name as her username, which like, I don't think is weird because I know a lot of people to do that. And especially now, like with modern era pro wrestling, like even not so modern, but you have like John Cena, it says Cena comma John on his driver's license. Like that's not new for me character wise, you know? Um, but for her, it's new. It, it's, it's more of who she is instead of a, like a, a part of who she is but mixed, mixed in with the content creation aspect of it. Like, is does that make sense? Does that make any kind of sense? Um, so she's having a lot more fun with it, as am I with with the little bit of content I'm creating. Like, I'm not I'm not doing a whole bunch. Um, but I was talking. We have a a group chat with me, Beefy, Tink, and Hildish, and uh, they noticed that I'm getting I'm getting I'm I'm having legitimate fun doing what I'm doing now. Um, and I am, I am like, uh, right now I'm, I, I'm switching between games because I don't want to play one game too much and then burn out on it. So if you watch all my ATS videos, that's, that's a good couple weeks of playing nothing but ATS nonstop pretty hard. Um, I started a bit of satisfactory, but then got off track with it because then my buddy x put a server together for us to play on and I'll get into it. But then I put up a poll in my Discord that's under construction, or it will be under construction soon. TM? I don't know. Uh, just revamping the whole thing. Uh, my wife did hers. She had a, a friend of ours redo hers. And she asked her if she could do the same thing for mine. Like, more streamlined, more, you know, uh, automated for certain things. Um, so I put up a poll in my Discord uh, a couple weeks ago. And I had four games... I forgot what the other three are, but the Hunter Call of the Wild is what ended up winning. And I, I played the game. I, I looked on Steam. I got less than 200 hours in it, and I really liked it. But I never really played it like a sim game, as I do with, like, ATS and Farm Sim. Those games, I'll go all in, sim-wise. You know, I'll, I'll, I'm deep into the immersion and... and like certain things, like in Farm Sim, I'll turn off crop destruction for multiplayer because my friends are dicks and they'll run through the field and there goes our money, right? Our game money. Um, I use mods and ATS for like quality of life stuff, graphics and, and signs and fuel usage and, and logistics and all that stuff. Um, but I never really played Hunter Call of the Wild as that. And it's not really, it's not really classified as a sim game or it might be. I don't know. I got to check Steam. If if somebody checks it, drop it right down there. Uh, let me know. Like, yeah, dude, it's a fucking sim game. Uh, but they just released uh, new to me DLCs. And one of them is uh, like an electronic tracker, uh, electronic lure that has essentially lures for every animal in the game. The one caveat to it is that it's heavy as fuck. So I carry that, a rifle, a Glock 10 mil, and a collapsible stand. That's how I roll. And uh, they came out with a new rifle for that DLC pack um, that's a 44 mag lever gun. I forget the name that they use in the game because I can't use Marlin, but it looks pretty much like a Marlin 1895. But they call it uh, something, whatever M word they use, 1894, that could be the Trapper, the Trapper edition of the Marlin. And now, for those of you who don't know, my birthday's coming, and I am getting a Remington-made Marlin 1895 chambered in 4570, the only government I trust. Okay? Um... You gotta spin cock it, because I grew up with John Wayne, the fucking Terminator. So you gotta spin cock it. Um, I'd, I'd like to get it before my birthday, because we're going on vacation. Take it, you know. It's a it's a, it's a lever gun. It's, it's, it's cool as shit. If I remember, I'll post up a picture of it. Um, so I've been playing the Hunter for what it's supposed to be. And, like, whatever, whenever I started a save on it, like, I would just go in. Oh, there's an aminal. Bang. Is it dead? 
No, why not? Because you used the wrong rifle or you used the wrong tracking method or you, or you did something wrong. You, meaning me, did something wrong. Um, so now I'm actually playing the story. There's an actual story to it. You have, uh, looks like a, like an old, uh, Blackberry in your left hand and you roll with that and that's what you accept missions on and the map is on there and all that other stuff. And I'm playing those instead of like doing it the way I used to do. Oh, did the bus pass the light? Hell yeah. That means I'm not going to be behind the bus when I get this green. Um, so I'm playing it like not not in story order because there are story missions and then side missions and side missions for the side missions. Uh, some of them are as simple as spotting an animal with your binoculars, taking a picture. It's not all uh, track and whack, which is cool. And it's essentially teaching me how to play the game for real, like the way it was supposed to be played, the way I was supposed to have been playing it the whole time. And I wasn't. And I think that's what made it less fun for me because they would come out with weapon packs and, and different maps, you know, to play on, to play and hunt on and, and bigger, badder creatures, you know. Um, but I would get the DLC, get on whatever map it was, like say the, the Africa map, pop a lion, and then that's it. Like I, I wouldn't, that's why I have less than 200 hours in a game that's so immersive, that has so much to to do with it. There are perks and skills and... and uh, methods and, and all other kinds of stuff that I didn't take advantage of because I didn't see the game for what it was. Um, and now I do. So I'm, I'm playing it as, you know, story mode, but I'm actually using the proper rifles that they, they tell you more or less to use because if you use, like I have a 300 Magnum uh, AR in the game. If I use that to hunt a duck, no more duck. You know what I mean? And I could, I very well could. It would count as a kill, but I would lose points. I would lose this. I would lose that, like trophies and 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 uh, XP experience and all that. So I would lose all that stuff because I wanted to just track and whack. Like that's it, and that's how I played the game. But now I'm not. I'm having more fun with it now, even though it's it's slower. Um. I'll tell you what, that 44 mag lever gun does pack a punch, though. It goes up to level 8, and I think level 9 is the highest. So it'll go from level 2 to level 8 creatures. I'm like, holy shit. Um, if you watch the, the first video, first Hunter Call of the Wild video that I posted, I needed two fallow deer, and the first one, I used the new lure, and I, I went slow, and, and I didn't rush it. I brought it to me, you know what I mean? I stayed downwind and all that stuff put one right through both lungs <laughs> that man dropped like a sack of hammers and for me that was gratifying because i did everything i was supposed to do per the game correctly man i thought i wasn't gonna catch up to this stupid bus but here i am behind the bus and y'all are stupid because you saw the bus too son of a bitch anyway i'm passing the bus right now because of course it's right before my turn to get home so i'm having a lot more fun with this game and I feel like I want to play it, not all the, I mean, maybe all the story, because every time you go to a new map, there's a new story. Um, new things to do, new things to discover, new weapons to use, new methods of tracking, and, and, and all that good stuff. Um, I never used a bow in the game. They have uh, recurve bows and compound bows and even crossbows. Never used any of them. But now I have one equipped because I need to hunt, what is it, a red fox. And I don't mean... Uh, Fred Sanford with a 60 pound bow like it's that specific because they have different weights I think it goes up to 70 with the with the compounds but you have to have specifically a 60 pound bow and I have one um, and actually the the video that's in the cooker right now sat waiting for me in the lab I almost had one boys like fucking that much almost had one and like I said I never used the bow before so I had that I had the fox right where I wanted him. I wasn't even sure how far, but I want to say within conservatively 30 to 40 yards. Like I had him dead to rights. He wasn't even wasn't moving or anything. I let that arrow fly, went right over him. Like just over him, and he took off. And I said, shit. So now, <laughs> now I know I have to do more gooder. Right? That's a thing. That's totally a thing. Doing more gooder. What am I doing right now? I am not parking in my driveway. More gooder. 
Ugh. <laughs> there it is. So I know, like, I have to do stuff like that. Let the game teach me. Let me do... Let me play the game the way I'm supposed to. And I'll have more fun with it. Who the fuck knew that? I didn't. It's car and park. So that's what I'm getting into. Um... I won't be editing this, and when I say editing, I mean like putting this together until maybe Wednesday. Today's Monday, uh, the 7th, I think. <laughs> um, I will get out of the car, I will start uploading it to the Google Drive, and I want to finish cooking that episode of Hunter Call of the Wild, story mode, that's what I'm calling it, story mode. Um, and then probably put this into Filmora just so it'll, it'll sit and, and stew and be ready for me. It'll marinate is what it's going to do. So thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, uh, share if you can. Take the link, post it up somewhere. I'm sure somebody that hasn't seen me in forever will see it and go, holy shit, that guy's still alive. Um, but until then, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Thanks for the support. Don't forget to comment, okay? Um, until the next one. And as today is our slowest day, I, I feel, you know, more more prone to recording as opposed to probably tomorrow where I fucking won't. Um, until the next one, Rooster says, see ya.